The height h in feet of a projectile is h equals negative 1 16th d squared plus 2d plus 5, where d is the horizontal distance in feet from the point at which the object is projected. A, what is the initial height or the height of the object when projected? And B, when the projectile first reaches a height of 19 feet, how far has it traveled horizontally? Let's first take a look at this graphically. The graph of the quadratic function is shown here in blue. The initial height of the object, or the height of the object when projected, is the vertical intercept of the graph at this point here. The initial height, or the height of the object when projected, is when the horizontal distance d traveled is equal to zero. Next, this horizontal line is the graph of h equals 19. Notice how it intersects the graph at two points. These two points are when the height of the object reaches 19 feet, and our goal is to determine how far it's traveled horizontally at a height of 19 feet, which occurs at a d value here as well as here. But because the question asks when the projectile first reaches a height of 19 feet, how far has it traveled horizontally, we only need to determine the d value or the horizontal distance traveled at this point here. So going back to the question for A, to determine the initial height or the height of the object when projected, we set d equal to zero and determine the value of h. So when d is zero, we need to determine the function value h of zero, which is negative 1 16th times zero squared plus two times zero plus five. This product is zero, this product is zero, and therefore h of zero equals five, which means the initial height of the object is five feet. And now for B, to determine how far the object has traveled horizontally when the projectile first reaches a height of 19 feet, we set h equal to zero and solve for D. So if h is equal to 19, this gives us the equation 19 equals negative 1 16th D squared plus 2D plus five. Let's go ahead and solve this equation on the next slide. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set it equal to zero by subtracting 19 on both sides. This gives us zero equals negative 1 16th d squared plus 2d, and then five minus 19 is equal to negative 14, giving us minus 14. For the next step, let's clear the fraction from the equation, but instead of multiplying both sides by 16, let's multiply both sides by negative 16, so the leading coefficient or the coefficient of d squared is positive. So we will multiply both sides by negative 16. Again, this will clear the fraction from the equation. On the left side, negative 16 times zero is zero. And now distributing on the right, negative 16 times negative 1 16th d squared is d squared. And then we have negative 16 times positive 2d, that's negative 32d giving us minus 32d. And then finally we have negative 16 times negative 14, which is positive 224, giving us plus 224. And now we should try to solve by factoring, but there are no factors of 224 that add to negative 32, and therefore now we need to apply the quadratic formula where a is equal to one, b is equal to negative 32, and c is equal to positive 224. And now applying the quadratic formula, but in our case, instead of x, we have d. We have d equals negative b is negative negative 32 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is the square of negative 32, minus four times a times c, which is minus four times one times 224. And all this is divided by two times a, which is two times one. And now we begin simplifying. The opposite of negative 32, or negative negative 32 is positive 32. The square of negative 32 is 1024, and then we have minus 
four times one times 224 equals 896. And this is all divided by two. And now let's go ahead and find this difference. 1024 minus 896 equals 128. The square root of 128 does not simplify perfectly, and therefore, we will now go to the calculator. When entering in the calculator, we need to make sure we have parentheses around the numerator. So we start with an open parenthesis, and then 32, let's first do the addition, so plus, and then second x squared brings up the square root. We enter 128, press the right arrow to get out from under the square root, close parenthesis, and then divide it by two. Enter. Running to the tenths place value, notice how we have a six in the tenths place value, and then a five to the right, which means you round up. This is approximately 21.7. So we have D is approximately 21.7, or, and now we use the subtraction. So going back to the calculator, open parenthesis, 32, minus the square root, 128, right arrow, close parenthesis, divided by two, enter. Running to the tenths place value, we have a three in the tenths place value and a four to the right, we round down to 10.3. The solutions to the equation are D is approximately 10.3 or D is approximately 21.7, but because the question reads, when the projectile first reaches a height of 19 feet, how far has it traveled horizontally? We use the smaller value of D, which is approximately 10.3. So now we know the projectile has traveled 10.3 feet horizontally when it first reaches a height of 19 feet. Let's go back and verify this graphically. Here's where the object reaches a height of 19 feet for the first time, and notice how the d value, or the distance traveled horizontally, does appear to be approximately 10.3. I hope you found this helpful.